Hi everyone, I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. Today is a Friday Sews video which is a weekly catch up with sewing and bits and pieces. Now today I'm going to shock you, well you've probably seen it from the title of the video, that I bought a sewing pattern, let me quickly grab it, which is Quick Sew K4182. I just wanted to give you a trigger warning that this video does talk about weight and body image, so if that's something that you'd rather not hear and um, discuss with, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to put a video up in the cards above, so if you want to click on that, there's an alternative to today's video. If you're fine with it, then keep watching. Now this is for swimwear, as you can see. Now it's for a tankini or a one piece. So I bought this off eBay because I think it is out of print but um, I managed, sorry, I got it off eBay but I managed to snag a copy because I think it is out of print. So this one here you've got ruching or the, the, the sort of plane um, for the top half and then this one looks like a two piece but actually from the back that is a one piece because I think it attaches to the lining there so it's like a bit of an optical illusion. Now, if you're wondering why on earth are you making swimsuits, that's a question I ask myself because I've been watching Mary from Mary Sews and I'll put her um, her channel in the description box down below and she's been doing swimsuit videos and I have no intention, I had no intention of ever making my own swimsuit. When I first started sewing, when I first started sewing clothes and I was reading a lot of sewing blogs, Closet Core Patterns released their bombshell swimsuit which I will come to in a moment and so many people were making it and I was thinking people are making a swimsuit what if you go in the sea and then it like all falls down or it all goes see-through or something so I sort of put that at the back of my mind I thought okay well fair enough if you want to do that good for you but there's no way I'd ever do that however last week I watched Mary and she has made this two-piece bikini she's made high-waisted like your bottom half and the top half is like a full cup coverage and you know she's a curvy girl and she's absolutely rocking it and she looks so it looks so beautiful in the colors that she's picked as well and I just thought wow she just looks really confident and she's like yeah I made this and this and she's you know she's done videos and things and I just thought I'm on the beach sometimes, I mean admittedly probably on a cold beach in England, but just like, oh quick, put a t-shirt on and covering up. I signed my kids up to swimming lessons so they could be taught by an instructor in the pool so I didn't have to go in the pool with them. I, th I know that is terrible, that's a really bad thing to say, but I've never felt confident in swimwear. I found that um, because you can't choose like different cup sizes, so I think when I've tried it, i always mainly gone for one piece, they're like pulling down low and you feel like, oh, I can barely breathe. Or they're, um, they, they're sort of like pulling in at the, like the bum area. So everything's sort of like billowing out where it shouldn't be. But I did have a tankini a few years ago and with it being a two piece, I was able to then buy a different size from the top to the bottom. And I felt a lot more confident in it. I don't have that anymore. That would have been too small if I still have that. So I thought, okay, why don't I try and make a tankini? Now, personal preference, I do prefer to have my stomach covered up. So I thought that one, maybe it has a bit of ruching as well, but it looks like a good pattern. Oh, and in case you're wondering on the sizing, it goes from an extra small to an extra large, and extra small bust is 31 inches, and it goes right up to a 45 inch bust, and the hip, it goes from a 32 and a quarter up to 47 inch hip. So I think, you know, I fit within that size range. So I think I'm gonna give it a go. Whether I'm brave enough to then post photos or a video on the internet, may we may just have to wait and see on that one. But I just wanted to highlight five sewing patterns that I found for swimwear that I quite like, so they don't, they I won't be including teeny tiny bikinis because that's not something I would wear. But I thought these might be of interest if you're similar mid-sized sewist like myself. So that is pattern number one. I have got notes here, but I will put them on the screen so you can see where to find them. Pattern number two is Jolly double three five zero and this is a one piece swimsuit um, but the pattern includes 27 different sizes all within the pattern. The Jolie are quite renowned for having a pattern for a child right through to an adult within the same pattern. So obviously there are overlapping lines that you do have to trace off 
but it is quite good value for money if you wanted to make one for your, your daughter and for yourself or for a niece or something that, or a grandchild that might be a good option because then you're not only having to buy one pattern but it might suit um, different sizes and then it'll be quite easy to perhaps blend sizes in as well so this is one piece but I quite like the way they styled it and so you've got the option of a crossover front and you can have a closed or an open back so I thought that looks quite a nice one. So number three is Mood, which is so Mood patterns are free. So you via their website for Mood Fabrics. So this is the Cordia High Waisted Swimsuit. Now this one is a two piece, um, but it does mean that you can then mix and match. So if you didn't want the, the top half, but you quite like the bottoms, you can then mix it in with another pattern. Pa number three is, are we on number three? No, we're on number four. Patterns of Pirates, and this is the Plunge Swimsuit. Now the really good thing about this one is if you go on their website, you can see that there, there are different sort of styling options, but also there are loads of pictures taken on real people. So all shapes, all sizes, and ages as well. It, not just like a professional model for a photo shoot. So I thought that looked quite an interesting option and I, that was quite a good pattern. And so number five, oh, we've got the Closet Core Bombshell Swimsuit. Now this is the one I said when I was learning to sort of learning to sew clothes, loads of people were making it. It has got the sort of 1950s silhouette and it goes from size zero to 20. And it has three options of a gathered bust, a halter neck option and high, high waist bottoms. So if you want to go on, I don't, I mean, I guess on Instagram, I haven't previously, I haven't checked out the hashtag, but I'm sure there are loads on there. Or if you put into Google, you'll get the older versions, which perhaps weren't then posted on Instagram at the time, because so many people have made this one and it seems like a really nice one. Now, when I looked for swimsies, there were loads, it was like cashmere have the Ipswich swimsuit. I actually made, oh, a list, it's in the other room now. I found like about 10, and that was just indie pattern companies. There, so I did find a couple of, find a couple of blogs where they give you a tutorial to draft your own, but I would rather work off a, a set pattern that somebody has designed. Now, if I find any swimsuit fabrics, I will put them down in the description box below so you can go and check those out, because I think that I would need to have swimsuit lining, the swimsuit outer, and swimwear elastic. I think that's it. Um, I don't think with the pattern I've chosen, there aren't cups or padding. So it just depends um, how much coverage um, and how thick I guess the fabric is to see what kind of coverage that get. So I think if I make this, I will test it out in the bath first just to see and I think um, it might take a couple of fits because I was watching Jen from today in Jen's sewing room and she swim she made a one piece like racer swimsuit because she likes to swim laps so she just is quite like a hardcore swimmer unlike myself who goes through the water like that instead of like that um, but she also made a two piece as well but she did have to do a few alterations to get the size so i will also link her channel down below so check because they also did a collaboration together mary and jen and then i saw on stephanie's instagram stephanie farrell focus who does friday sews as well that she's just made a swimsuit and i was like what on earth is going on i think i need to join in because i i want to feel confident on the beach I don't care, we're going to be in England, I don't care that it's a pebbly beach, a cold beach, and the sea, you know, and it's not going to be in some tropical location. I want to be able to do that and just muck around with the kids and, and just have fun. I bought a two piece from eBay last year during lockdown so I could get two different sizes from the top and the bottom. The top was too big and the bottoms are too tight. So I'm hoping by being encouraged by other people that I will then work out what I need to do to even make it. Apparently you don't even need, an, I have an overlocker, but apparently you can just make it all on your sewing machine. So will you be making one? Because I, uh, I think this is something we should all join in with because I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels a bit funny about swimsuits that you buy in the shops can net, you know, don't really, well, for me, I can never get them to fit right. And so then I wanna feel good and comfortable and I want to be able to, if we're at the seaside in England and we have to go to seaside toilets, I want a two-piece where I can just sling a t-shirt on. I do not want to be naked in the cubicle <laughs> in, the, in some grotty seaside toilet. 
So I think a two piece is more comfortable, it's more practical because you can just like put your clothes on at the end of the day and not have to worry about hopping around on one foot on the beach trying to then get changed back into normal clothes again. So talking of closet core cool patterns, I made the Sally jumpsuit which I will link a video about over here and there are some great simple summer makes so please check that out and I'll see you over in that video.